Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at controlling where Excel defaults to saving your files in. By default on my computer it was OneDrive. I don't use OneDrive. I don't want to use OneDrive. But every time I go to save a file, OneDrive is coming up as the default option. So to change this, what we're going to do is open Excel and go to File. And then you're going to come down here to Options and then go to Save. Now, by default, this is the option that is set. Auto save files stored in the cloud by default in Excel. And that's what you don't want. So you're going to disable that. You're going to come down here a little bit further and see that it says save to computer by default. So you're going to click on there to select that. And then in the default local file location, you're going to put in the location where you want your files to be saved. So what I did for this is I opened up File Explorer and I went to the location where I want my files to be saved. Up here in the title bar, I just clicked once and that gives you the actual location. It's not the exact same location as it reads. So you're just going to right click and copy that and then you can paste that into this dialog and I've already done that. So I've also added a backslash on the end, which is important to do that too. So now instead of saving automatically to OneDrive, I'm going to be saving to this location by default. So let's just click OK and let's see what happens when I click the Save button. You can see now I'm being offered the file name Book 1, but here it is in my Documents folder as the default. I can go to More Options and select a subfolder, but at least I'm a, not on OneDrive, and B, a whole lot closer to where I wanted to save my files than I was previously. So I hope this video helps you unplug yourself from OneDrive and go back to saving your documents where you want to on your local computer. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.